It's no exaggeration to say that the X5 was a revolution when it was launched. By the same token, there's no denying that the current version faces many more talented rivals than the original car. However, the idea of an SUV that's designed for on-road use and thinks it's an executive saloon still works well today. No matter which engine you choose, your X5 will have a healthy turn of speed. The basic 3-litre diesel is our favourite and the top seller. But the V8 petrol is terrifically endearing if money is no object. Better still, the X5 is brilliant on the road and reasonably competent off it. On tarmac, it feels so planted and sharp it's easy to forget you're in an SUV. The ride can be firm on rough surfaces, but the optional adaptive drive system corrects that while making the car even more stable. Refinement is excellent too. Silky engines, a slick automatic gearbox and excellent insulation make the X5 a quiet car to travel in. There's a little wind noise at motorway speeds, but no more than that. First, the good news. Most people will have no trouble finding a good driving position and visibility is reasonable. Now they're not so good. The gear lever, electronic handbrake and eye drive control for the stereo, sat-nav and ventilation system all take some getting used to. BMW accepts that some buyers use their SUVs as MPVs, so they offer a seven-seat version. However, the extra seats are optional and although they're roomy enough for adults of smaller stature, they're not protected by the curtain airbags. As a five-seater though, the X5 has loads of space for passengers, along with a vast boot. This is more than an SUV come MPV though. Throughout the cabin, quality materials that are beautifully assembled give the X5 an air of limousine. It'll come as no surprise that the X5 isn't particularly cheap to buy or run. The diesel versions have better fuel economy and stronger residual values than the petrol versions. But if you buy an X5, you should prepare yourself for big bills. At least you get a fair bit of kit as standard, while options include parking cameras, fog lamps that shine around corners, and a head-up display of speed and navigation information. The M Sport model is available with sports add-ons such as alloy wheels, tweaked suspension, special seats and a leather steering wheel. To cap it all, BMWs are generally mechanically sound, although electrical glitches aren't unknown. But it's often no more than an over-keen sensor getting needlessly excited. The X5 has an amazing blend of abilities. It's brilliant to drive on the road and pretty good off it, while the seven-seater option gives it some of the qualities of an MPV. Overall, this latest model takes everything that was great about the original model and borrows the best new ideas from its more recent rivals. However, it's no longer in a class of its own and it can seem quite dear, so it's certainly worth looking at the opposition before you commit.